now we can move on with the show. If that's okay with you, Mr. Christian. I insist, sir. All right. All right. Uh, let me see here. Let's go ahead and jump into uh tell you we have we talk about a lot of things here. We talk about uh entertainment, we talk about social issues, we talk about politics sometimes. We happen to have something for you like that, all rolled up in one. Got that Comey Rule over here. Comey Rule is a show that will be coming to Showtime uh, sooner than later. Actually, sooner than we thought. Now, this is based on FBI Director James Comey's relationship with Trump during the first few months of his presidency. And also touching on the what they say is the possible collusion of Russian influence on the 2016 election. Now, while I'm sure that I'm sure that most people, I'm sure that 90% of the people out there watching this because they are concerned about uh, the country, their patriots, and they're concerned about the corruption of democracy. But, Let's not kid ourselves. A lot of people are also going to be watching because they just want to know, man, what is that big fat Irish dude or Scottish dude, whatever the hell he is? <laughs> Brendan Gleeson? But, yeah, there he is. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, Brendan Gleeson. You know what? That's cool. And that guy's a great actor. But, you know, I'm really watching this to find out what he looks like as Trump. Because a lot of people saw that like, hey, no way in hell they're going to make this man look like Trump. Well, you know what? We have a look at him finally in this trailer that we're going to show you. And you be the judge. A lot of people say, you know what? I saw a trailer of this before. It was a teaser. Uh, Saw a silhouette that looked like him. We just showed you that. Uh, Heard the voice. Kind of sounds like him. He's kind of got that down. A little scruffy. But of course, it's the look that's going to make the difference. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Comey rule. And uh, we'll be back to have, Christian, I think a bigger conversation about can art actually have an influence on political issues? Jim Comey, he's more famous than me. Really looking forward to working with you. Let's take a picture. Okay, I gotta say, that's creepy, man. No, that makeup is incredible for that specific shot, right? Because yeah. it looks exactly like him from the nose down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was just talking about Trump just pulling you to the side and whispering in your ear. <laughs> You know, it's, so there's just so many creepy factors happening yeah, here. Yeah, when Trump pulls you that close, you're like, damn, I think he's trying to grab some pussy. I ain't even got one. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that just scares the shit out of me. You know, you know, Trump's breath smells like some funk ass KFC or something. Would you like to come over for dinner tonight? Just the two of us? Like, you know what? I got to say with this, I'm going to go back to this, but I got to, I, before I forget, I just love the tone that they, they're giving this. Like it's a horror movie sometimes. <laughs> right, right, right. It almost seems like a little predatory, right? Like he walks into the room. This is like what like Harvey Weinstein would do all the time. He's like, yeah, yeah we're going to have everyone over. And then like an actress would go upstairs and there would be like candles lit everywhere and no one else in the room. And like they played that with Comey walking into the room and seeing a table set for two. Only. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, like looking at the, you meant that's a great analogy. Like, uh, like Comey played by Jeff Daniels. Comey was politically raped. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> like he got politically Weinstein by, by Trump. <laughs> wow, you know what? First of all, let's just let's just go to the obvious with this that people want to want to talk about. Let me uh, move this back a little bit. Let's just yeah, let's just talk about what everybody's gonna be mentioning with this or talking about or writing articles about when they review this. I'm trying to find a, a particular still here. Let me, uh, let me see if I can get to it. Uh, Solly, I'll go with this one. Actually, I'm, I, there was one particular still that got to me in the, in the trailer. I'm going to see if I can find that one. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Come on. Cause, it might be at the end where, where you're talking about where he says uh, Comey's a bad guy. That part. Yeah. 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 It's near the end. Yeah. Near the end. Okay. Oh yeah, man! This thing is this thing is moving so fast. Here, I just I'll just let it play, and hopefully I'll get. Oh, there it is! There it is! Yep, yep, yep. yep. So let's just talk about the makeup and 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 the and the and and the look of these characters as they are portrayed here 
in this show and how they how they compare to the real people. Uh, I don't think anybody's gonna care about James Comey. I don't think you know they, they, whatever. Like you know, your average person probably doesn't even know what James Comey looks like half of the time. They haven't just this just hasn't imprinted on their brain. So Jeff Daniels don't look anything like James Comey in this. But I don't think anybody's gonna really gonna really care. Uh, I'll let you speak on all this too. Uh, but everybody's gonna wonder what Trump is gonna look like. A Brendan Gleeson as Trump. Uh, and I have to say, man, look, he looks like he either looks like Brendan Gleeson as Trump or he looks like fucking Shrek. You know, this? <laughs> like if he was green and had some goddamn horns sticking out of his head, he would, you know, he would look like some like a, 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 a you know, some kind of otherworldly creature. But as far as uh, I mean, whenever you get into these these uh, biopics, are you getting to these movies or TV shows where they got a person under heavy makeup and they still can't look like that person? It always com- comes down to not what the look is, but can you get lost in how they get the mannerisms down, the inflections, the tone, the speech patterns? Uh, I've seen that with a lot of things, man, where, you know, um, people kind of, they, when they saw the trailer or they saw a picture, they were like, that don't look like that person. And then when they actually saw the movie or the show, they're like, all right, they didn't, but I got lost in that. I, right. in, in their performance. How do you feel about this? Yeah, I was actually going to bring that up. Uh, it's not a great movie, but Oliver Stone made W, a cut, like what, 2005, 2006, where they got yeah. Josh Brolin to play George W. Bush. Yeah. Um, and that was one where like people are like, he doesn't look like him. He doesn't sound like him. But if you watch that movie, I'd say about 20, 30 minutes in, you're, you're past it. Because I think it's better to try to get the approximation yeah. of someone rather than doing an impersonation of somebody. And you may find yourself behind the wheel of a large automobile. I love this song, but I want to hit his mouth. Yeah, right? I was like, I don't even care that he's not talking. Just like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I just want to see George Bush start dancing and shit. I remember the son of the president anyway. What have I done? You know, there's even moments where after a while, that you know, once you get a performance down, because I'm just looking at the parts where he's not even talking, but after hearing him for a little while talk again, I'm like, you know, they they just become those people. I think now we we kind of go into the larger conversation, which is does this actually change anyone's mind ahead of the election? Because-